Hey you guys, Erin here at Eat Move Rest and welcome back to the kitchen. So today we are bringing you guys five easy vegan snack recipes for weight loss. These five recipes check all the boxes, whether you're craving something sweet, savory, salty, chewy, or crunchy, we've got the answers for you. I had a villain, I saw the sun. I had to go and make you well mine. And I knew it was the right time. Can I vision nothing else? Oh, look at that. <laughs> got to love you, Waka. Got to love you. Got to love you, Waka. Got to love you. Got to love you, why? We're bringing you some recipes that are a little bit more indulgent, but we're gonna stretch them out to make sure that you're able to eat more and way less. These are the perfect movie night or game day snacks. You can watch the show, watch the game, and your waistline simultaneously. Recipe number one is our salty satisfier. So we are going to be making some mushroom jerky. You're just gonna need a couple of simple sauce ingredients to marinate your mushrooms in, and then we're gonna either pop them in a dehydrator or in the oven and let them go to town. For this recipe, you will need about eight ounces of mushrooms of your choice. We have cremini mushrooms. Is it cremini? We're gonna need a quarter cup of coconut aminos or regular aminos or tamari, this is our favorite. Two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon of some type of hot sauce like sriracha, a few cracks of black pepper, and about a quarter teaspoon of paprika. So I have popped the stems out of our mushrooms. I'm going to thinly slice them, put them in a baking dish, and then we're gonna mix up our marinade and drizzle it on top. So I'm now transferring our sliced mushrooms mushrooms to a large reusable Ziploc bag. So you can marinate for a few hours or overnight. The longer the better because these guys are gonna soak up all the flavor. Then we're gonna pop them in the oven or the dehydrator. So the oven just beeped. We've got it preheated to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna spread our mushrooms out evenly on a lined baking sheet with parchment paper. Let them bake for about one hour. Then we're gonna flip them let them go for another 30 to 45 minutes and you're golden. Recipe number two will satisfy that crunchy craving. We're gonna make some homemade air popped popcorn. So when you sit down at a movie at the theater, they hand you a bag of popcorn. It's got hundreds, if not a thousand calories in it, just in oil and fat. On top of that, lots of salt as well. When you make it at home, you can literally make 10 times the amount in volume for just a fraction of the calories. Enter the air popper. So this thing is a lifesaver. It's super inexpensive. We'll link it below. It's on our Amazon store. First and foremost, it's always important to buy USDA organic popcorn as well. We're gonna need just a little bit of pink Himalayan salt and some nutritional yeast. So this air popper comes with this little measuring cup. All you're gonna need is a half cup and it's going to make probably about 300 calories worth of popcorn, but it's an insane amount. You'll probably wanna share the goodness with somebody else. So this is like top five as far as volume versus calories. You could simply enjoy this whole bowl by yourself if you wanted to, and like I said, it's 300 calories or less. Mm. We're gonna add some flavor. Every true chef or clean freak has a few spray bottles laying around the house. <laughs> so I'm going to lightly, lightly mist our popcorn with a little bit of water to help our salt and nutritional yeast and other seasonings stick. You can also try curry powder. You can do coconut sugar with cinnamon. So many endless options. We like to keep it simple. Nooch is our best friend. If you really wanna make it stick, what you've gotta do is add your seasonings into a molcajete and really finely grind it into a dust or a powder and sprinkle it on top. Our next recipe will satisfy that rich, smooth, creamy, and savory craving. So we're gonna make some guacamole, but I guarantee you've probably never tried it this way. So maybe you've only got one avocado on hand and a crowd to please, I know how it goes. We're gonna stretch it out so you can feed a crowd with this recipe. You will need one ripe avocado, a small tomato, a zucchini, as well as some salt and pepper, garlic powder, and greens powder. So you don't have to use this, but I highly recommend it. 
This stuff is chock full of healthy minerals, antioxidants, it's super anti-inflammatory. You can barely taste it in the guac. We absolutely love Sun Warrior. I've been throwing this in all kinds of shakes and smoothie recipes. You can do so much with it. Even just add it to your water to make it extra alkaline. If you guys are interested in Sun Warrior, we have it linked below along with a discount code so you can get 20% off. First step, we're going to throw our zucchini into a food processor. Then we're just gonna chop our avocado and tomato, throw those in a dish. Once we've pulsed our zucchini to our desired texture, you don't want it too soupy, but you don't want it too clumpy either. Now we're just gonna add our pulsed zucchini to a dish along with our other ingredients. If you wanted to make this a little bit less watery, you could always squeeze your zucchini through a cheesecloth. I'm gonna add in our salt, pepper, garlic powder, and super greens. Honestly, I don't have measures. I always just do this to taste. So even if you have the healthiest, lowest fat, cleanest dip on the planet. Tortilla chips are where it always gets you. They're super high in oil and again, high in salt. So what we like to do is just take Ezekiel tortillas, slice them into triangle shapes, throw them in our air fryer or in the oven and bake them into crispy homemade oil-free chips. Our other low-cal favorite would be just simply taking a head of romaine, rinsing it, cutting the bottom off and making romaine boats or using them as dipping sticks as well as carrots and celery or if you want something a little bit more crispy, crunchy, and satisfying, then go for Mary's Gone Crackers. These are packed full of super seeds, high in omega-3s, and these are always oil-free. Next up, let's move into something that will satisfy that sweet craving. So we're going to be making an ice cream alternative, or as we like to call it, nice cream. Our base is gonna be frozen, very ripe bananas, so they're extra sweet. We're gonna add just a splash of plant milk, as well as a few super high antioxidant-rich superfoods that are also adaptogens, so they're gonna be amazing for your body, and a little bit of plant protein. For this recipe, you will need four frozen ripe freckled bananas, two pitted medjool dates, one teaspoon of maca powder, this is that amazing adaptogen I was talking about, two teaspoons of cacao powder, this is our antioxidant powerhouse, a splash of plant milk, we're using coconut milk, one to two tablespoons of nut butter, if you wanna go lower fat, you can leave the nut butter out, and a scoop of vanilla Sun Warrior protein. So for this nice cream, whether you're a chocolate or a vanilla lover, you can make this either way by either adding in cacao powder or leaving it out. Approved? <laughs> oh, look at that. This is like if a box of peanut butter filled chocolates married a big bowl full of ice cream and they made beautiful babies. Mm. So good. Can you say eyebrows? Eyebrows. This last and final recipe is chewy and gooey and it's another sweet satisfier. We're gonna be making three ingredient cookies. You can either bake them or simply shape them and pop them in the freezer. They're so effortless and super good. For this recipe, you will need one cup of pitted medjool dates, that's about 10 dates, one cup of rolled oats, and a nut or seed butter of your choice. We're gonna use almond butter, and you'll need three tablespoons of whichever you choose. All we're gonna do is add everything to a large mixing bowl and mash and smash with your hands. So if you have a little kiddo that wants to get messy, this is the perfect chance. The secret to not getting extra sticky and messy is to start with wet hands and kind of fold the dates into the oats. Now you could roll these into balls and pop them in the freezer or smash them flat. Or like I said, you can bake them in the oven. If you do that, it'll be 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 to 20 minutes. All right, you guys, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed these five easy vegan snacks for weight loss. We've got our salty satisfier with our mushroom jerky. This goes great on top of salads and soups or just munched on by itself. We've got our crunch satisfier with our air popped oil-free popcorn. We've got our superfood guacamole. We've got our choco maca nice cream. And finally, my personal favorite are three ingredient cookies. So if you guys are looking for more delicious and nutritious plant-based meals to help you with your weight loss journey or just to get healthier and try new foods, definitely check out our ebook. It's got 70 plus vegan recipes. They're all oil-free, gluten-free. We've got everything from juices, smoothies, breakfast, lunches, dinners, desserts, and snacks. Let me know in the comments below which recipe you can't wait to try and give this video a thumbs up. It really 
helps our channel out. If you haven't already, join the Eat, Move, Rest fam by hitting that subscribe button. Leave us some love in the comments below, share this with family and friends, and follow us daily on Instagram at Aaron Stanzik and at DB Stanzik. Until next time, you guys know the drill. Eat, move, rest, your best. Bye, guys. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, and Bo, and we're the Stanzics. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.